Good morning, everybody. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've just woke up and read one of fucking Gary Duncan's community posts. I'm a Nazi now. <laughs> what the fuck, Gary? Seriously, what the fuck? I'm a Nazi now and my ideas need to be stopped. Oh, that's very threatening, bro. Think yourself lucky that you're not in my presence, son. <laughs> I'll tell you that straight. Because for threatening me like that, trying to turn my audience in the UK against me by basically calling me Hitler, yeah? Right? Oh, you deserve a punch in the mouth for that. You really deserve a punch in the mouth for that, you absolute little waste man, waste man, waste man, no good fucker. Yeah, I can't believe you actually said that about me. I can't believe you're more like Hitler than any fucker, mate. You should get a little tosh. Do you know what I mean? I'm telling you straight. I mean, you know something? After seeing that, yeah, me and you are done. I'll never speak to you again. This is the last time I'll ever mention your name. I'll never watch your videos no more. You're dead to me. You're absolutely dead to me, bro. I'll tell you that straight. After saying that to me, you are dead to me, Gary. Don't talk to me again. I hope I don't see you in real life. Because I don't know if I'll be able to control myself, bro, to be fair. Do you know what I mean? You've just gone too far. You've gone too far. By trying to turn the public against me, by calling me a Nazi and a fascist and that, yeah? You've gone too far, Gary. You've gone way too far now. So... I hope we never see each other in public. I really, really do. For your sake, not for mine. For your sake. I hope we never see each other in public. Because I now directly have a problem with you. Now I do have a problem with you. Yeah? You're a very sad little man with no life. Who has an unhealthy obsession with another man. Now, aren't you married? I mean, if you're gay, come out and say it. By all means, listen, I've got nothing against gay people. If you need to come out of the closet, Gary, come out of the closet. But if not... Your unhealthy obsession with me is exactly that, unhealthy. And to me, it is honestly like you fancy me, bruv. You fancy me so bad. Or you want me to follow your cause because there's nobody in your cause that has half the spine that I've got. How about that one? You need me so bad because you and your boys can't do shit. <laughs> is that what it is? You need me to come on marches because I'm the only man amongst you. Sorry about that, mate. It's not the way the world works. Get some of your own balls. Become your own man. Become your own Viking. Lead your own marches. Lead your own army. Stand in your own shield wall. Stop expecting me to come and do the hard lifting for you. Because you ain't got nothing about you and you can't do the hard lifting your fucking self. That's basically what it is, Kerry. <laughs> and do you know something? <clears throat> because of you, I'm going to tell you something now. You've made a big mistake, Gary. Like a really big mistake for, you, for yourself. For your own cause. You've made such a big mistake. I have somebody on my channel called This Is High End Media. And he knows just as much as you, trust me. I've got a few fans that know just as much as you. Probably some of them a little bit more. Now he listened to my video the other day. <clears throat> and he, he explained a few mistakes I've made. And I listened to him. And because of the way he explained it, it wasn't patronising. He wasn't trying to call me a dickhead. Yeah, he was just explaining a few things in a very nice way, right? And I listened to them, I took it on board, and I thanked him for the information. Now, you could have had that kind of correspondence with me, but no. I have realised what all Marxists are now. I've realised what you all are. You are all intellectual bullies, yeah, because you can't be physical bullies. If you was all, phys if you was all physically man enough, you'd be physically physical bullies as well. And you think that I want a socialist Marxist movement that are all mental bullies that but would be physical bullies if they could run in me? Are you mad? You have turned me away from socialism. I turn my nose to it. I don't want it. I would rather stay with capitalism. You've done that, Gary. You've done that. You have alienated me away from your cause. I don't want to wear Marxist ever again because of you. Because of you. Seriously, you've done this. You have now pulled another potential, how would you call it, comrade away from your cause because you're an idiot. And you do nothing but try and belittle people. You have no bring people up within you, bro. You have no positivity within you, bro. All you have is negativity, yeah, and trying to make people out to be something they are not, whilst also using your Marxist terminology to make them out like they don't know anything. 
Like you are the be all and one port call for every bit of information on this planet. You are the cleverest man to ever survive. You are the greatest man that's ever been born. Yes, Gary. No, you're not. No, you're not. Even your own kids don't like you. And we both know that, right? Even your own children don't like you, bro. Seriously. Even your own kids don't like you. <clears throat> and I'm not going to go into where I know that, but we both know that that is true. Yeah, they think you're weird, bro. Even your own children. And as far as I'm concerned, Gary, listen. I mean, don't worry, bro. I'm never going to come to Sunderland, try and find out what taxi rank you live in to have some words with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're totally two different, different kettles of fish when it comes to physical stuff, Gary. I think we both know that, yeah? And I ain't no bully, right? But what I will say to you, you ain't going to worry about that. You ain't going to worry about me coming and doing anything threatening or anything nasty towards you, mate. I hope I don't see you in real life. I don't want to ever see you in real life because then I might not be able to control myself. Yeah, I'm going to tell you straight. So I don't want to ever see you in real life, but I'm never going to come looking for you. I'm not going to even come to Sunderland. I know you live in Sunderland, so I'm not even going to come to Sunderland. I'll never come to Sunderland again unless it's for work, just because you live there. And I don't want to even come across you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you ever again. I don't want to hear that stupid-ass fucking voice ever again. You have alienated me from Marxism, brother. You've done it. You have alienated me from your cause. Because if all Marxists are like you, I will purposely do my utmost to stay away from them for my whole life. Because you Marxists, yeah, are negative. You Marxists are patronising. You Marxists don't want anybody to learn any true knowledge, don't want your knowledge to expand, want to stay with the knowledge of Karl Marx from, what, 100 years ago, wherever long he lived. Yeah, you want to stay there. You want to stay in the past. You want to keep bringing up the past. You don't want to move forward to a bright future. You don't want to adopt new ideas and put them into the Marxist idea to make a better idea. No, you just want to stick with the status quo and never grow. And unfortunately, I can't be around people who don't grow. I can't be around people who are nasty for the sake of it. I can't be around people who try to use intellect to make other people seem like they are small, when realistically, you are small, because the only intellect you have fits around one subject. My intellect goes around fucking many, 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 many. I have more brain cells in my fucking toe than you, you may, have, you may have lots of brain cells when it comes to Marxism because that's all you've ever freaking learned. That's all you've ever done. But I have brain cells when it comes to so much, Gary. Yeah, I may not be as clued upon you as Marxism. Of course I'm not. I've never sat there and studied it for my whole life. I've never made it the focus of my whole life when realistically, I should have made my kids and my missus the focus of my whole fucking life. But by the sounds of you, Gary, yeah, they come second. By, by, by the sounds of you, Gary, right, Marxist ideas are worth more than even your son and your missus. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm, I'm done with Marxist ideas, man. So, right, 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 right. So, listen, yeah? Um, right, so that's the end of the video. That's me complaining about Gary enough, to be honest with you. Um, Gary, listen, I ain't never going to mention your name again. I'm never going to watch one of your videos again. Like, I'm just, you, you're done to me, bro. You're dead to me. Yeah, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna literally listen to nothing of yours. Don't try and put no Marxist ideas on my head. I suggest you move on to somebody else on your YouTube channel. I mean, feel free to keep using me. You're very sad, man. At the end of the day, you would have no content if it wasn't for me, would you? Like, you'd have none. You're like, it's pathetic how short, like, your attention span and how little brain cells you have to rub together. Because the only thing you ever make videos about is me and Marxism. You don't have nothing else, do you? You have nothing else to give, do you? other than an outdated idea and using another man for clout and using another man for views and using another man to get where he can. And as for me turning round, I heard in one of your comments, yeah, ah, oh, Danny G's licking Andrew Tate's bomb now because he's figured out, yeah, that being on Andrew's side is better for him. No, 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 no. No, I'm on Andrew's side because I can see what the rich elite have done to him, yeah? And I've listened to a lot more of him now and now I understand the type of character he is. And I would rather listen to Mr. Tate than you any day of the week, mate. Any day of the week. So me and you are done. I will never come in your comment section again. I'll never not watch none of your videos again. If you want to carry on making videos about Danny G, fine. 
feel free, you very sad-lifed guy. If you have not anything else, no other knowledge, nothing else inside that head, nothing else inside that grey matter other than me and what I put out on YouTube, if that's what you need to do for content because you are truly tick as talk, yeah? You have nothing about you. You're a waste man. You have no content within yourself. If you have to do that, then feel free. Feel free to make content on me till kingdom come. I just won't watch it. I won't comment on it. And nobody please ask me on YouTube who this guy is. I'll never mention him in no comments. I don't want to mention him in no videos. I don't want to say his name out of my mouth again. Seriously, that's how much I'm done with him. I'm absolutely done with him. You've got to understand, in some of his comments on that, yeah, he's talking about my ideas of fascism, basically I'm like a Nazi and I need to be stopped. That's threatening, to be honest with you, Gary. Now, I could take that personally and wait till I saw you and, let's, and me and you could have a talk about you threatening me with words. Couldn't we really, bro? Couldn't we? Couldn't we? But I'm not a bully, so I won't. Oh, yeah, in that pot there. But I'm not a bully, Gary, so I won't. I won't, I won't. I won't, you know, bro. I don't want to see you face to face. But I'm never going to come looking for you or nothing like that. Because I won't. I won't, Gary. You've got nothing to worry about from me. Nothing at all. We'll bring you the money after. Okay, no worries. He's got a job interview. So we've got to go. Good luck. Have a nice yeah, day. Tell him good luck. Let me know how he gets on. Love you. Bye. My son's girlfriend. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, as far as I'm concerned, Gary, this is the last time my mouth is ever going to... Your name is ever going to come out of my mouth. I'm going to give you some solid advice before I leave. L broaden your horizons, bro. Yeah? Stop being such a stuck in the mud. Stop being so boring. Stop being such a stickler for what, you, for what your knowledge is and not accepting nobody else's. Stop being so my way or the highway. And then maybe you'll have more friends in your life. Yeah? Your kids will like you more. Right? And you'll have more luck in the future when you try and latch onto somebody else because you've got no life of your own. So you're going to need somebody to latch onto. I don't know who it's going to be. I feel sorry for whoever it is. Yeah, because they're going to have to listen to your stupid shit like I have. Do you know what I mean, Rob? But at the end of the day, you will latch on to somebody else because we both know you have no life. You have no content of your own. Do you know what I mean? So you're going to have to try and find somebody to latch on to or you're going to carry on latching on to me still. But it is so pathetic to latch on to a man when the man can't be asked even talking back to you. When the man can't be asked to you because he finds you pathetic. Yeah, right? It is so so, so wrong and childish and stupid and ridiculous and pathetic, yeah, to keep making videos about a guy that is never going to mention you again because he doesn't like you and he thinks you're a waste man. So to be honest, you make videos about me now after this video and you are the waste man. You really are. You have no life. See, my content, I have so much content, so many things to talk about, so many things to show on camera. You have nothing but me. How sad is your life? How sad is your life? Listen, bro, if you need to come out of the closet, if you want to come out of the closet and you actually fancy me and you're in love with me and that, yeah? Bro, <laughs> I'm not that way inclined, Gary. I'm sorry, mate. I'm not that way inclined. I'm married to Tony. I'm not interested in no hairy pumpkin, bruv. Because <laughs> to me, it seems like you fancy me, you either fancy me or you want to be me. Yeah, you know what I mean? You want to actually crawl inside my skin and become me. Or you fancy me. Or both. <laughs> Not sure which one it is. But whatever it is, keep it to yourself from now on. Everybody have a good day. I had to make this video. This geezer is such a waste, man. Oh, he's an idiot. The guy's an idiot. He really is an idiot. And I can't be asked of him no more. Gary, have a nice life. I'll never mention your name again. Never watch no content of yours ever again. Never make a video about you ever again. Have a nice life. Me and you are done, son. Peace.